Hey, welcome back. We have a little package here from Devo Knives. So let's get into it. I'm just going to do this off screen because it fortunately has some personal info on there. That's everything. Cool. So I had uh, reached out. These guys really uh, go above and beyond on their customer service. I had reached out. Um, that the pivot hardware that I had received in the package, and if you're not familiar with this, they'll send you a matching pivot hardware that uh, that mutes out the DK on here, the Devo Knives logo. Um, but it didn't fit. I guess they got like a, for some reason, like a weird one, and it didn't fit in there. So I pinged Lefty, and he uh, hooked it up, got this thing right in the mail with the correct pivot hardware. And you sent me one for both knives here, which I appreciate. I've got the correct pivot hardware to mute out the DK on both of them, which I think will look really nice. So I, I'm particularly on the black one. I actually really don't mind the one on the, on the stonewashed finish because the DK on there is like a little darker. But on the black one here, it's like white. And uh, although it kind of matches up with this, um, I like this look more. So I just want to swap that out i also have a couple uh i just was chatting with him and oh what is this oh wow dude that is awesome he threw in oh that's sick dude this is what i'm talking about devo knives is super super cool threw in a freaking timascus backspacer for me what a champion love that dude that's sick looking I don't always love Timascus, but this one looks really nice. And it actually looks very similar to the the one that I have here on the D, on the uh, Demco. Oh man, this is sweet. Now I'm now I'm kind of pumped. Now the question is which one does that go into? Ooh, very cool. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this one today, but I at least am going to swap out the uh The DK on this guy. Oh wow, that's super cool. Thanks, man. Um, so let's move some of this other stuff. This will be nice to have in case I ever want to do it on the stonewashed one, but let's jump into it. So I decided if I want to pull it apart more and do the backspace or two, that's really cool. The sad thing is that that super cool Timascus won't be showing out on the sides, but you'll know it's there. You'll know it's there. Oh, that's, that's sweet. I just could look at that all day. Very cool. Um, let's open this guy up here. I think this is a size eight. I always make sure and put a lot of pressure forward, not so much to damage the hardware, but enough to uh, not strip it. Probably telling you stuff you already know, but maybe you don't service your knife today and we're curious about it. And that came out nice and easily. So let's get this guy opened up and ready. Sometimes it's easier to do this with the knife closed and sometimes it's easier with it open you just never really know depending on the manufacturer i'm just going to be ready to plunge this right back in there oh i forgot this one is directional so it has a little flat spot on there so you don't have to countersink Let's see if i can get that focused real quick see that flat spot so you don't have to have you know, two different screwdrivers, so let me get that pointed in the right direction. And yeah, it slides right on in there. And that's what I'm talking about. That's that's pretty nice looking. So I also have some fat carbon scales coming that'll mute out the white on this a little more as well. I think that'll look pretty sweet. Do I want to put in the Timascus backspacer? I actually think that might look 
better on this guy. It might show a little more on this other one, on that color. So I'll put some thought into that before I do it. Let's just get this guy in. These things are so drop shutty and yet perfect lockup. I'm really a big fan of this knife. Literally the only thing I don't like, or maybe only things I don't love about it are, this is just a little funny looking to me. It's, it's kind of cool at the same time, but something about that stylistically, I don't like quite as much as the Demco one, but it's, it's actually really good functionally. Like your thumb fits right in there, finger fits right in there. Um, but it is like, it looks a little bit like a bird head, um, which you know, not the biggest deal ever. You don't see it a lot of the time because it's kind of in there and stuff. But, um, and then I'm excited to get that fat carbon in there. But yeah, there you go. Let's kind of clear this stuff out of here and see how it looks. Um, yeah, it looks nice. That's, that's what I was going for. It's a little dark on the black. Like, I wish it was matching. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, but at the same time, the other one isn't, so it kind of matches both sides now. You know, now that it's switched out, I kind of like this one also, so... <laughs> We'll see. I may end up switching it back. Um, yeah, so to backspacer or not to backspacer, that is the question. I kind of feel like I should throw that in there and see how it goes. That, oh, is that a size 8 too? Sweet. I wasn't sure, but that's also a size 8. So I'm hoping that this just comes out with these two screws, but I'm not 100% sure because I've never, never fully taken this knife apart, which uh, I could, but I'm sure there's plenty of videos on that out there. Okay, and then is that just going to slide out now? See how this works exactly. It may be that you have to further take the whole thing apart. Maybe take the scales off. There may be some screws underneath the scales. Let's take a look. I'm gonna have to take these off at some point anyways to swap out the scales. Yeah, so there's a, a couple more screws under there. Also T8, nice job on that guys. That's nice that everything's freaking T8. This is one of those things that I love about Devo knives is these guys are, they spent so much time, I feel like being users of knives that they just, I think have held themselves to a really high standard and what they've put into their own knives, um, which is really cool. You know what, we're so far, let's just take this knife apart and see what it's all about. We've come this far, right? Let's let's do the full journey. Let's see what's going on inside. Okay, so here you have would I call that a frame lock or a liner lock? I guess you call it a liner lock. Um, nice little bearing design. And uh, yeah, you know, this is a nice knife. You can really tell when you take things apart. You know, it's one of those things where if you don't do it, 
you'll never know. But once you take them apart, you can really see the quality of things and how they're built. And I feel like this one's really built with a nice quality so far. Let's get this last scale off over here and see what's on the other side. Okay. So now, we, now that we've gone this far, we really want to stay organized. Interesting, there's a little number in here like a part number or something. Scale quality is really, really nice, nicely milled out here and stuff. Um, let's keep this all together. And so it has like a washer. And a bearing. Um, so there's like a washer in here. Yeah, nice. Oops, sorry about the focus. And then there, that's really neat. Because it doesn't say anywhere on the knife. You can see the part number again here. CPM 20 CV. Interesting for it to be here instead of on the blade. Um, that's an interesting design choice. Very cool. I'm uh, I'm impressed with the way it's put together and stuff. It's a there's a there's a lot going on. Like it's not the simplest. Like this just to remove the backspacer. This is definitely quite a bit going on here. Um, but it's generally pretty simple. So if you're keeping track of what you're doing, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, which sometimes when I'm putting these videos together, I probably don't do my best job of keeping track of what I'm doing because I'm trying to like look at the camera, talk, and uh, take the knife apart without like losing parts and stuff. All right, so there's the standard backspacer. And it has these little standoffs in it that will pop out here. Okay, pretty simple. And then we'll swap that out for the Timascus one. Like I said, that is just a, a beautiful finish. Like I hate to even put it in there because it's so cool looking. <laughs> but let's give it a go. So we'll put these standoffs back in. And that's where the screws go into. And those again are directional, so they're flattened off on one side so they won't spin so that you don't have to counter it, which again is like, it's one of those things that's small, but definitely, definitely uh, makes a difference in ownership when you're working and servicing your knife and stuff. So I really appreciate it personally. Um, now the question is, what's the best way to do this? And I think it's to hold it up and down while you put it together. So you probably hold it like this and then start screwing, screwing them in. And I don't know if you saw that, but one of the things I do when I'm having a little trouble with a very small screw to try and get it in is I'll put my fingernail on it or my finger on it, just like this. You can just hold it on the end there. That makes it a little easier to throw it in there. So show sure what that looks like on the screen, just like that. And you can just get it, put a little pressure on it and it goes right in little trick from uh, working on RC airplanes that carries over quite nicely. <laughs> of course, I uh, did put that in on the wrong side, which again goes to the problem of uh, doing these videos while I'm talking. I think I've put back together the, the same knife like three times incorrectly while doing videos. 
that was probably my worst worst one ever but it's hard to hard to do both at the same time so maybe i'll just shut up here for a second and get this right this goes on this side Those are gonna be pretty cool. I was like, I'm, I'm not a big um, like knife modification guy. So I was a little hesitant at first, but I'll tell you what, when I find a company or a vendor or website that's a little cooler, um, I'll put in a little extra effort to try and like see through what they're doing on some of their aftermarket stuff. It's like really the only time I'll mess with that personally. Um, because it's not really like what I do with knives. I generally am more of a collector, so I like to keep things more factory, but these guys are just so cool. Like you just, I'm rooting for them, to be honest. I still stay objective. If you saw my Devo Growler review, I was like, uh, definitely had some some uh, thoughts to offer on that one. Um, but again, I'll go like a little above and beyond when someone is just really cool. To, to try and give it a shot, at least to uh, be open-minded. And some of the modifications on these kind of address some of the things that, uh, I wouldn't call them even shortcomings, but some of the things that like perhaps don't resonate with me as much as someone else. And uh, it can address things like the colors, the, the logo on the pivot, Okay, this one's a little trickier than most to put together, I'd say, because you're like holding a lot of parts together at the same time. Let's see if I can do this better. I guess you can just lay that down and then put that on like that. And uh, drop this guy in. Technically, I need to do it from the other side. Boom. Okay, not too bad. I love that I'm not having to change out my bit this whole time. That makes me very happy. Let me tell you. Okay, let's get these back spacers in here. Back spacer screws in here. Could have, this could have been a five minute video, but uh, kind of fun to see what's really going on inside. Especially one like this where you don't see a lot of the screws because of the nice like, uh, you know, covers and stuff. So it's nice to know what exactly is going on. Now, simplicity is always preferred for me, but I will at times accept like a, something that makes something a little more stylish or nice in hand or whatever above simplicity. If it's kind of worth it, I guess is the right way to put it. And in this case, I think, uh, I think it is. Because you get sort of the benefits of solidity and uh, flexibility. Make sure these are nice and tight. Not too tight, but just tight enough. I totally screwed that up. Um, you know, as a trade-off, so. Without uh, 
taken off. I probably have to at least loosen up the back spacers a little bit. Again, trying to do this while talking through things on a video. Not the uh, smartest way to reassemble your knife, let me tell you. There we go. in the right spot. Let me see. That feels good. Okay. Feels very funny without the uh, scales on it in hand. Um, so let's see how that came out. It's very subtle, which I kind of like at the same time. Um, you know, I always go kind of in between something that's loud and something that's subtle. That's pretty subtle. That's really nice. So that'll be a nice little, once I get those other scales on there too, the whole thing's gonna be like pretty blacked out. And then you just have that little pop of Timascus there. I think that'll be pretty sweet, but we'll have to see once it all comes together. So let's see. Pocket clip is going to go on the other side. Um, <clears throat> so this is going to stay out. So far, everything's come together pretty nicely. Um, make sure I did that right. I don't know if that was, that screws the different size. Let me just double check that real quick. I'm not sure if the pocket clip side has a longer screw on it or not. I didn't, I didn't notice, so just need to double check. Okay, they're the same length on both sides. With this many screws in particular, it would be a real pain if you're switching between like a T6 and a T8. And even I've seen some knives that have three different sizes on it, which is like the worst. That would really not be ideal. So it's nice given the number of screws it takes to get this all together and stuff that it is uh, all T8. Because that would be a total pain in the butt. See, this one might go in a little. Uh, looks like this needs to be in there before it goes in. Yeah. So let's put this down and then.
Cool. And just that little subtle, I wish I had a little more light here to really show you how cool that looks. You can definitely see it more in person than I feel like you can through the video here. Maybe I get a nice little close up here. There we go. Very cool. Very, very cool. So yeah, thanks Devo Knives team. This is a, this was a fun little update to the knife. Really like the way that that looks. And I'm excited to get those fat carbon scales in next week and I'll do another video once I add those in there. So again, not, not like the biggest on mods. I've done a couple Demco mods on the channel, uh, but that's about it. Um, so let's play the game a little here and see what, uh, what the result is. For me, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool one. Uh, again, I have this guy, um, but the black wash finish to me is a little, I like it just a little more. I like them both. Um, but I like this one just a little bit more. And now that it's muted out there in particular, I'm just going to take it out here and look at it with the naked eye for a second. Yeah, quite nice. That one's become super drop shutty. See that? I'm not even having to wiggle it at all. This one I just put back together, so I could have over tightened it a little bit, but this one was, I mean, that's pretty darn good too. Love the detent on these. Let's see, do everything just right. There you go. Now it's uh, sweet. Yeah, I could see that Timascus sitting in there pretty nicely and kind of making that stone washed one pop pretty well. So thanks for stopping by. Um, Hope you enjoyed. If I missed anything, feel free to comment. Please like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Take care.